Hello, my name is Andy Fancher, and today we head out to Granbury, Texas to meet a 91-year-old World War II Navy veteran named Harold Walker. Towards the end of World War II, Harold was a crewman aboard the USS Bunker Hill, a Navy aircraft carrier which was subject for a surprise kamikaze attack on the morning of May 11, 1945. Harold fortunately survived unscathed and today shares his story for his first time on camera. Well, growing up in Stephenville, it was a lot of it was fishing and hunting. <laughs> we, we enjoyed those pastimes. In September of 1944, at age 18, Harold D. Walker was drafted by the U.S. military. He chose Navy and was then sent out to San Diego, where he completed basic training. Well, after that, why, uh, I was sent to a ship, and that ship was the USS Bunker Hill. The USS Bunker Hill, hull number CV-17, was one of 24 Essex-class aircraft carriers assembled during World War II. Bunker Hill, in particular, was 872 feet long by 147 feet wide and required a 2,600-man crew to operate. And uh, I had to do a lot of things on it, you know. We, they kept us pretty busy. Harold left San Diego in late 1944 for a Pacific tour of duty aboard Bunker Hill. Over the next five months, in America's final drive across the Central Pacific, Bunker Hill assisted in various fleet engagements against the Japanese. It was a, really a, a deal to go into, and we were there. On the morning of May 11, 1945, two days before Harold's 19th birthday, Bunker Hill became unknowingly subject for a surprise attack. All those planes that were on the flight deck were gassed up and ready to go. Two Japanese warcrafts emerged from low cloud cover within striking distance of Bunker Hill. Immediately, two 550-pound bombs were dropped on the ship's flight deck. The swift attack was concluded by both enemy planes dive-bombing the runway. When we were hit, of course they set our flight deck afire it was, everything was burning there, and then to, to try to put out the fires, well, they wet everything down and everything was pretty well a mess. Warplanes full of ammo and aviation fuel began detonating in Bunker Hill's hangar and aboard her runway. Gasoline fires and toxic smoke engulfed the ship. And that's what I dove into to try to save those that were overcome by smoke inhalation. Over the next few hours, Harold took countless runs in and out of the ship's hull in a successful effort to save his crewmen. I'd, I'd get those guys, maybe a couple of them, I'd put in a large mail bag. He saved countless lives and revived several. An exact number is unknown. We had a pretty good crew and they were fighting those fires and Bunker Hill saved itself. The ship suffered a loss of 346 men killed, 43 missing, and 264 wounded. Despite heavy damage, Bunker Hill made it back to America under her own power and was stateside when the war ended. Harold was honorably discharged as a seaman first class in June of 1946. He most notably received a commendation medal for his heroic service. As for the USS Bunker Hill, after 30 years in use, she was sold for scrap metal in 1973. But when it's all said and done, what do you want to be remembered for? Just being a, a good sailor. By the blessing of God, may this country become a vast and splendid monument, not of terror nor oppression, 
but of peace and wisdom upon which the whole world may gaze upon with admiration forever.